Hi guys, welcome back. In the second Next.js video tutorial, we are going to learn about the components in Next.js. So, what kind of components Next.js have and how we can make that, how we can import that. Okay, so we will learn all these things. Okay, so now let's get started. So, first of all, uh, I want to tell you that, uh, just first of all, I want to just close the screen. Alright, yeah. So there is a two kind of component. One are the functional component, and second are the components with classes. So they are pretty similar with the React component also. So we will use the React for class component, and with the normal functional component, we don't need to use the React component. All right. So first of all, I'm just going to make the two pages. One for the about us page, second for the contact page, and the page will be. Uh, make the component differently and then I will import the two different component on the same screen and then I will tell you that how we can how actually it's work all right so first of all I'm just going to make uh, one more file with lake lights name about torches all right and one more with the contact torches all right so in the about.js i will make a functional component and functional components are very pretty simple so i can just simply use this and i can make this all right so just change the name why i just copy this because to save the uh, save the time all right so i can just uh, write here simply about component all right so just for the import this i have to just use the import from and it's about and I can just use here uh, about all right so okay so just now I can use this simply here like this so just go back here okay so now let's see how okay, now you can this about components here so this is included here Okay, so now let's uh, learn about the class component, how we can make this. So I will uh, do it in the class, uh, in the contact. So for that, uh, I just going to export first, import first of all. So let's import uh, component from React. So there is a component name. So I will tell you one more thing that why I have to use their brackets, but uh, not there why the reason is if I just uh, import the component defaultly then I don't need to put the brackets here like this in the about I just import the component defaultly that's why I don't need to put this uh, as a bracket if I this component is not uh, imported defaultly then I have to use the uh, curly brackets inside something like this this alright so uh, that's why we have to use this because uh, in the single page only one component can be uh, exported the defaulted and if there is a many component then we have to uh, import only one component as a default and another is the as a normal export all right so that's fine so now i just to <coughs> export here export default my class name my class name is contact and it will extend the component simply all right so after that it's it should be render function uh, because uh, it's a very simple and similar with the uh, uh, react so that's um, minimally we have to use the render function otherwise we can use the states and all these things that we will use in the next videos but for now we just have to use the render all right so just return here and inside the return uh, i can just use the div tag here and inside there i'm just going to use the h1 tag also so here i'm going to just just write something here like contact component simply okay and now we already imported this here okay not then just make copy and paste and just uh, write here contact and inside the contact I can so inside the 
uh, return just put the both component here and let's see on the screen so now you can see that we got the screens here so let's make it small for now we don't need to make it small so we can just simply check like this okay so when I change here something it will automatically reflect it here like this video we got here and here I can just put something here like uh, subscribe channel alright nice so thanks guys thanks for watching this video uh, in the next video we will learn something new about the routings and navigation kind of things so how we can do that so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel welcome